let's let's turn right to it. You've just been traveling, and if I'm not mistaken, you've been in Tunisia and Jordan and Iraq. Can I start with Tunisia? Uh, after the, the Arab Spring started there, and for, for many of us, including at Stimson, we've looked at Tunisia as a promising uh, case of a country that was able to find political accommodation. Um, they've had some challenges. They've had some, some unrest. Uh, the economy has been sort of wavering. It, it's been a hopeful place. Um, what's your assessment coming out of Tunisia? Well, first, you know, Hernando de Soto, the Peruvian economist, did a lot of good work in Tunisia. His book, The Mystery of Capital, Why It Succeeds in the West and Fails Everywhere Else, is sort of a template for, for a prescription of reforming economies in that part of the world, where you've got to take the informal sector and move it into the formal, and you actually unleash all that human capital to allow people to go forward, to allow people to actually have the ability to start their own businesses or uh, own their own property. That is slowly underway, those reforms. What is working against Tunisia today, though, is ISIS itself. There are 4,000 young Tunisians in neighboring Libya training right now, and there's 2,000 training in Syria. The Tunisian experience is as they come back, they carry out attacks in this. Their request to us is to be decisive and to take out the training camps in neighboring Libya, which so far we have failed to do because that precludes the ability of those young ISIS fighters to get the training and the bomb making and the other techniques they've used to hit their national museum and to hit other sites.